In the previous video in this series, we configured a small medium business network consisting of a Cisco router and a Cisco Ethernet switch. This was using an Ether switch module inside of a Cisco router, and this is a Cisco 3725 router. We enabled inter-VLAN routing in this topology using a router on a stick. So this router was doing the inter-VLAN routing between these PCs in different VLANs. Now in answer to some of the questions that I've received, this topology is dynamic. I'm building this on the fly and your input can change the way the network is built. So add comments below and let me know what you want to see in this network and how it should change. What I'm going to do now is build a small ISP network. So I'll delete this link between the NAT cloud and router one. And I'll add a Cisco IOS V router to the topology. What I'm going to do before I go any further is change the number of interfaces on the router to eight, and then I'm going to duplicate this node. So I've got two Cisco iOS V routers in my ISP network. And what I'll do now is add some Cisco 3725 routers to the topology. What I'll do at this point is speed up the video so you don't have to watch me cable up the devices, but essentially I'm gonna create a network of multiple Cisco routers. And what I'll do as well is add an HP VSR to the topology. So I'll add some multi-vendor devices to the topology. These will be our first multi-vendor devices. And what I'll do then is connect the devices to one another. Now I'm not gonna try and make the topology very pretty at this point. I'm simply gonna get it up and running. So that we can configure GNS3 as quickly as possible. But in this example, we are essentially creating a small ISP network. I'm gonna delete this device because I want the router with many physical interfaces. So I'll duplicate the other device. So this isn't a very large network. What I'll do here as well is add some additional redundant links. So what I'll do on this router as an example is configure it to have an additional ethernet interface. So something like that. So again, we can optimize the look and feel of this network as we keep on building the topology. But for now, that's the network that I'm gonna build, a small ISP type network consisting of say two core Cisco IOS V routers. And hanging off those two routers, we've got some additional routers. And then I can add customer routers to the topology. Now what should happen is if I've configured this right, these Alpine Linux devices on the right hand side should be able to access the internet via our BGP network. Okay, so there's our small network. 
what I'll do is start up the devices in the topology. So as you can see, they're starting to boot up. And what I'll do initially is connect to the console of this router. And as you can see there, the iOS V software is booting up. Now for an IP addressing structure, we should use public IP addresses for our ISP network. But because I actually do want to connect it to the internet, I'm not going to use public IP addresses in this topology. I'm going to use RFC 1918 addresses. So what I'll do is simply use 172.16 and then I'll allocate subnets accordingly. I'm going to keep the IP addressing very simple initially. If you want me to do complex IP addressing, I can do that. But for now, I'm going to keep things fairly simple so I don't have to worry too much about fancy IP addressing. Now, I could utilize my IP addressing better than I'm doing here, but again, that's fine for this lab. We've got the whole 10 network to play with if necessary. And a lot of 172 networks and 192 networks. And remember, we can use NAT in our topology, which we already are using. So, so I'm not concerned with IP addressing exhaustion in my GNS3 topology. Please remember I'm building this on the fly, but what I'll do is change the topology or add devices as you think. If you want to submit topologies that you think will be nice to add, then do that. I may be able to add your recommendations to the network. But let's see how things go. So there are some IP addresses. What I'll do as well is use network one for loopbacks. And I'll use slash 32s. I want to use loopbacks because at some point we may want to convert our network to using MPLS. If you want me to show you the actual building of the network that I'm doing, or if you simply want to skip ahead to a pre-configured architecture. I'll simply have a topology up and ready for you if you prefer that. Okay, so my ISP network has been connected. It's got IP addresses. And what I'm going to do now is configure IP addressing and BGP on all these routers. Initially, what I'll do is I'll just do part of the network so that you can see how to configure a part of the network. What I'll do is I'll configure this router as a route reflector to minimize the number of BGP sessions in the topology.